my job is to make sure that we continue to improve the profitability in the company and we, our strategy remains. Uh, we, we're, we're going to improve the profitability in construction. We're going to uh, make sure we continue to have the position, we have leading position as a residential developer. And also we want to grow the commercial development uh, for the future. That is the right strategy for us and I'm uh, confident that that will add uh, value to our shareholder. Anders, I want to talk about a couple of the inputs and as far as I'm concerned, the most important input that we can add in this world rather than stock markets is about jobs and looking at the jobs figures and the importance of that as well. I, I'm terrified that we're going to see a surge in long term unemployment globally. I'm seeing massively important engineering companies, companies where you've got decent paid, highly skilled people losing jobs left, right and centre. What are you doing on the jobs front at the moment? What is your forecast for the industry and jobs? Uh, what we see right now is uh, that the, 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 the operation is going down somewhat. So uh, we are uh, uh, sort of reducing our cost. Uh, we have to do that. We, we are uh, heavily dependent on the GDP growth in the different markets we operate in. But my experience from other downturns in the market is that construction and infrastructure investment is a very good way to get the wheels rolling again. And I'm, uh, I hope that we will see that again. I expect that to happen again. And that will for sure help, help the industry, the construction industry. Yeah, and if you're watching CNBC, you might believe sometimes there's only one commodity out there, and that's gold. But the fact of the matter is there are others such as copper. There are other key industrial metals, metals perhaps that you'll be using in your creation of new infrastructure as well. Are you concerned about the fact that copper, two-year high, other commodities on the surge, this huge amount of, uh, I keep using the word largesse, I can't think of a better one, from central banks, is going to create a large amount of inflation in some of the key inputs into your industry? Uh, that might happen. We have seen a, it's quite a big volatility when it comes to steel that we use a heavily big amount of. Uh, but they, we are following that uh, from day to day basis. Uh, uh, we, 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 we can for sure see some uh, inflation when it comes to steel prices and so on. But uh, I, overall, uh, that's the way the business are and we are used to operating with that volatility. And Anders, um, just to wrap up uh, from me, could you give us a sense of where you see the geographic opportunity going forward here? We, we obviously have uh, potentially soon a, an announcement in the United States on a new stimulus plan. We've just had the signing off effectively of this uh, 750 billion euro pandemic plan for countries in Europe that have been badly hit by COVID-19. Do you think any of that money is going to come in your direction? How do you see the geographical breakdown? Uh, if, if you see that, if we start with the Nordics, we haven't seen so much impact for, from the pandemi pandemic in the Nordic, but we have seen a uh, large impact in the Central Europe. We have seen it in the UK and in the US. And as you say, we, we expect this uh, stimulus uh, package to come out and uh, be to infrastructure development, uh, to stimulate the economy, to get the, thing, the wheels rolling again. That's needed, that's crucial for, uh, for, for the different societies. So I expect it to uh, be, we are in the right places uh, uh, today. We are in Central Europe, UK, and uh, the, the big uh, cities in the, in the US. So uh, I expect that to, to come to our pipeline as well.